Today we're going to review one of the most talked about and even controversial AI tools, Bypass GPT. It's a platform that claims it can make AI written text look completely human, so that even the best AI detectors can't tell the difference. But is that really true or is it just marketing hype? Let's find out. Before we start, I want to make one thing clear. The goal of this video is not to teach any unethical tricks or ways to cheat AI systems. We're only going to analyze this tool technically to understand how it works, where it can be useful, and and where it definitely shouldn't be used. Now, let's begin by searching for Bypass GPT on Google. Here it is, bypassgpt.ai. Let's click the official website and you can see the clean and minimal homepage with a simple menu on the left. There are three main tabs here, Bypass AI, AI Detector, and Plagiarism Remover. We'll go through all three, but the first one, Bypass AI, is where the real magic happens. So what does it do exactly? To test it fairly, I first generated some content using hix.ai. I created three real examples. 1. A simple advertising paragraph, like a social caption introducing a product. 2. A formal brand email. 3 and a short scientific summary, something you'd find in an academic report. Before we use Bypass GPT, let's check how these texts perform on popular AI detectors. I tested them with three well-known tools, GPT-0, Quillbot AI Detector, and Zero GPT. As expected, every single text was quickly flagged as AI generated. So the challenge for Bypass GPT is clear. Can it turn these into natural sounding, human-like writing? Now let's move back to Bypass GPT. GPT inside the Bypass AI tab. The interface is very simple. In the middle, there's a large box saying, enter your text here. Below that, you can either upload a file, try a sample, or paste your text directly. Underneath, there's a small dropdown called Mode, currently set to Enhanced. And the famous button, Humanize, is disabled until you enter text. I'll paste the first example, choose Enhanced Mode, and click Humanize. The result appears almost instantly, and this is where we need to look carefully. I focus on three things. First, does the original meaning stay the same? Second, does the tone feel more natural or just slightly rearranged? And third, did the system introduce any awkward or incorrect sentences? In the first example, the difference is clear. The tone becomes softer, the sentences flow more naturally, and the choice of words sounds far less robotic. In the formal email, it managed to make the dry text friendlier and smoother while keeping it professional. But in the scientific paragraph, it simplified a few technical terms. Good for general readers, but not perfect for specialists. Overall, this humanized section seems very effective for writers, marketers, or YouTubers who use AI tools but want their text to sound authentically human, especially the enhanced mode. It doesn't just swap synonyms, it truly restructures your sentences and makes them read naturally. Now, to verify the result, I ran the same humanized outputs again through those three AI detectors, GPT-0, Quillbot, and Zero GPT. And this part surprised me. In most tests, the humanized text scored over 90% human or showed less than 10% AI probability. That means the bypass GPT rewrite genuinely changes how detectors read your text. Of course, no detector is 100% accurate. If your sentences are too short or repetitive, they can still be flagged. But overall, the performance is solid. Let's now check the second tab, AI detector, built directly into bypass GPT itself. This section instantly analyzes your text using multiple detection models and shows two results a human likeness percentage, and the probability that your content was AI generated. In my tests, its results were quite close to GPT zeros, which adds credibility to their detection system. And finally, the third tab, Plagiarism Remover. Here, things look a bit more advanced, but still user-friendly. At the top, you can choose the input and output language, and even set the tone of voice, formal, friendly, or neutral. You can paste text, upload a file, or even fetch it directly from a URL. Basically, this feature is meant to paraphrase your content, to rewrite sentences that may look too similar to another source while keeping the same meaning. But remember, this is for improving originality and readability, not for hiding copy 
copied content. If you're using someone else's idea, you should always cite the source or include a link to test it. I used a real paragraph from a public article. After processing, Bypass GPT completely restructured the sentences, smoothed out transitions, and replaced some formal phrases with simpler ones. But the meaning stayed exactly the same. Also, when I switched between friendly and formal tone, the difference was obvious. Friendly mode sounded like a blog, while formal mode became more academic and precise. So after testing all three parts, bypass AI, AI detector, and plagiarism remover, here's what I can say. Bypass GPT genuinely improves text quality and human likeness, especially when using the enhanced mode. It's not perfect for deep academic writing, but for most general and creative uses, it works impressively well. If you're a content creator, writer, or marketer who uses AI tools to speed up your workflow, this can be a powerful assistant, as long as you use it responsibly and review the outputs yourself. But if you try to use it to trick systems or publish fake work, you'll eventually face serious consequences. So use it ethically and intelligently. By the way, I ran all these detector tests live in this video. You can see the before and after comparisons. You can also try it yourself. The link to bypassgpt.a AI is in the first line of the description and pinned in the top comment. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did Bypass GPT pass the test in your opinion? And if you enjoyed this review, hit like and subscribe. I always test tools like this from a technical and responsible perspective, so you can decide with confidence. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.